In this lesson, we'll learn how selection masks can be utilized within Maya. So for this lesson, we're going to use a scene file called Selection Masks. Let's go ahead, select that, and open this up. And you can see in this scene, I have uh, several objects set up. So we have a few NURBS objects, some polygon objects, a couple light sources, and some uh, particles in here. So if we have a situation like this where we have maybe uh, several different objects in our scene, uh, and maybe we want to uh, avoid selecting certain object types or uh, maybe temporarily disable a certain object selection. Well, we can start to come in and do that with selection masks. So with a selection mask, uh, this can be found up along this top row of buttons. Um, essentially, we just disable a certain category of objects selectability. So right now, if I wanted to come in and let's say grab uh, one of these outer torus objects, You'll notice right now these become very, very difficult to select because right now I'm only grabbing my particles, which happen to be pretty much in front of these objects. So a quick and easy way of disabling a particle selection is to use my selection masks. So I can come up here. You can quickly hover your mouse over uh, some of these options if you want to actually learn more about these and what they are actually going to turn off. But if I were to come in and disable my dynamic objects, which particles are a part of, you'll notice now I can no longer come in and select my particles. And now I'm free to come in and start working with any other objects that I may want. Now, in this situation, I have a couple of different surface types. So these are both NURBS objects, and these are both uh, polygon objects, where this uh, single uh, main tube is a polygon object. So what if I only wanted to uh, be able to work with a NURBS object and not have to worry about accidentally selecting any polygons? Well, we do have the ability to uh, disable surface selection. So if I disable my surface mask, you notice I can no longer grab any kind of surface. But what I want is to not entirely disable my surfaces, really only disable the selectability of my polygons. Well, if you recall uh, from one of our earlier lessons, I would mentioned that if you hover your mouse over some of these icons, you'll notice that your cursor changes. So in this case, if I just simply left click, on one of these that will completely enable or disable that option. Now if I right click there are actually some other options available in here. So rather than completely disabling my surfaces I could just simply disable poly surfaces. So select that and now you can see I can still grab my NURBS objects but my polygon object is not selectable. Now if you look at this icon right up here you'll notice that uh, these options that are enabled are kind of this uh, lighter tan color these things like the dynamics, which I've completely disabled, are kind of a black color or a much darker color closer to the interface. Now the surfaces, you'll notice, is sort of a brown color. Now this is indicating that this feature is not entirely turned on, but it's not entirely turned off. In other words, I have some options within here that have been disabled and some that are enabled. So that's really kind of a visual indicator of the state of these, whether that feature is completely on, completely off, or if there are only certain options within this mask that are enabled or disabled. And if you needed to uh, very quickly enable all of these, or maybe even disable all of these in one shot, instead of going through here and clicking through all these to turn these back on, we have this little button right over here, which if we left click on that, we can set all our masks on or all our masks off. So if I go to all objects on, now everything has been re-enabled, and now I can come back and start to work with all of my selections once again. Now, I had also mentioned in our lesson dealing with the Maya hotbox that if we take a look at the options found over in this west zone, these are the same uh, object masks or selection masks that we had available. So we could come in and maybe go to a NURBS mask where now we've only masked out our NURBS objects. There we are. So let's go ahead and Go back to our object mode here, and you can see that there are some other masks uh, available here as well where we can start to enable and disable uh, animations, objects, dynamics, and things like that. Okay, so that's a look at how we can start to enable and disable the selection of certain objects within Maya.